Hello everyone. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about Elastic AI Assistant. And we are going to be leveraging our local LLMs to kind of set up Elastic AI Assistant. And what does Elastic AI Assistant do? So you could see here that it helps us to kind of like solve our problems faster. Problem resolutions become faster, employing the power of generative AI right inside Elasticsearch. So how do you get that done by using your local LLM studio? So that is what I'm going to be showing you now. So the first thing, of course, you need to do is download this thing into your system. So the LM Studio. When you download the LM Studio into your system, it's going to give you this interface where you're going to be seeing a lot of models. So you're going to be seeing a lot, lot of models. So with these models here, you'll be able to choose any one you like. For example, I could choose this one and download it depending on what kind of model it is. So I've already downloaded like two of these models. So I've downloaded the Gamma 2B and the Lalama 3.18B. So this is what I'm going to be using to connect to my AI assistant on Elasticsearch. So let's see how that is going to be done. So before you get that done also, you need to install the Elastic, the LLM server, the CLI. So this CLI is going to help you, for example, to do things like find out the models that you've downloaded and do a lot more. So you could find out, for example, the status of your server, you could start your server, you could find out models that were downloaded. You could see the list of all loaded models. So when you do, for example, LLMs, and then you could do PS. So you could see this is kind of like the models that have been loaded. So we have loaded this model now. So when we do LMS, LMS, LS, so this will show us all the models that we have on our system. And then we could also find out, for example, do LMS server. And then we could find out the status of our server to see whether our server is up or not. And uh, let's see, LMS, sorry. We will see the server is not running. So for us to start the server, we do LMS server start, and you see we get our server up and running. So this is what we're going to be using to kind of like start our server. So our server is already started. Now what we could do is go to our Elasticsearch instance here. So it's already up here, and you could see that the L the AI assistant is already working. So how do you get this AI assistant connected? So the way you get that done is by using uh, the stack management here. So when you come to stack management and you come to connectors. Inside of connectors, you can create a new connector and you could choose, for example, an open AI Germany connector or whatever connector you're using. In this case, I use the open AI connector. So with the open AI connector, all you need to do is provide the URI for this example. So if you notice for um, for LLM Studio, it has uh, the URI already. So for example, I've already gotten everything connected here. So you see, it's kind of like it's on local host 1234, but because I'm using it within Docker, so I have to use this host docker.internal. So when you get this done, you're, you could use the assistant on, on any future you're working with. So I already have it created. So for example, if you're working on uh, disc analytics, or you're working on search, observability, or even security, you could just open the dashboard and you could see the AI assistant right up here. And all your connectors will be available here for you to choose. For example, if you look at this one here, I've actually requested for system logs. And these system logs were actually pushed into Elasticsearch using a tool called WinLogBee. So I'm going to be showing you like how I got Elasticsearch started. So what I did was uh, for WinLogBee, I kind of downloaded it directly, extracted it, and then started using this command. So, and then for the Elasticsearch, I will also be providing link of the Docker image. So this is how it looks like. So you see, you have a Docker Compose file here, and then all I needed to do was just do a Docker Compose hop. So if you've used Docker Compose before, nothing much to do here. The only thing that you could change, for example, is the password and the username that are all found within this configuration file. And with this, you have the power of Elasticsearch, and you have your AI assistant here helping you out with queries, asking it question, helping you to better use Elasticsearch better. So thank you for listening. If you like this kind of content, please hit the subscribe button and hit the like button so that I keep bringing you content like this. Thank you.